It has been two months since the Russians took control of Europe's largest nuclear power plant in the Ukrainian city of Energodar. They stormed it firing machine guns, mortars and heavy equipment. Russians either may not know what a nuclear power plant is, or maybe they are deliberately hitting dangerous objects that could trigger a global catastrophe. The Ukrainian government classifies such actions as terrorism. But the Russians have such traits. They inherited this tactic from the Soviet Union, where accidents at nuclear facilities were common. Peaceful atom in every home. This was one of the slogans of the USSR. The empire built nuclear power plants everywhere. They covered a significant part of the country's energy needs. And it seemed that everything was supposedly good. Until April 1986, when the greatest nuclear catastrophe in human history occurred. Initially, they tried to hide the accident. Those who tried to tell about the tragedy were forcibly shut up. However, the world eventually learned the truth. The scale of the tragedy is difficult to overestimate. The blast killed thousands of people. Millions have been exposed to radiation and its harmful effects. Against this background, other nuclear incidents in the Soviet Union have even been forgotten. And there were many of them. People simply preferred to remain silent about them in the USSR. The Soviet Union had problems with its nuclear program at the outset. In September 1957, 30 years before the Chernobyl accident, an explosion occurred at the weapons-grade plutonium plant. It happens near the town of Kishtim in the closed settlement of Chelabinsk 40, which did not even officially exist on the maps. Банку эту рвануло, потому что не было технологического охлаждения. Она постепенно нагревалась, эта банка, дошло до критического состояния и произошел вот этот взрыв. Опыта, опыта эксплуатации и хранения этих продуктов in the end, radioactive strontium-90 and the cesium-137 were released into the atmosphere. Their half-life is up to 30 years. The dangerous cloud stretched for 350 kilometers and covered the territory where 270,000 people lived. Residents of 23 settlements had to be relocated. And fish from rivers and lakes near the place of the explosion even today is not recommended for food. And this is due to the tried human mistakes, which people did not want to tell. After all, just like the incidents in the Navy, one of the loudest was in October 1986. The K-219 submarine was off the coast of the United States. It carried 15 nuclear warheads on board. There were also a nuclear charge on the torpedoes. Such weapons could wipe out the whole region. And if ordered by the command, the vessel would have to hit American cities. We прекрасно знали. Мы не стреляли по военным базам, там точечным каким-то целям и так далее. Мы боролись с важными, как нам говорили, административно-политическими объектами. То есть мы обстреливали Нью-Йорк, Вашингтон и так далее, и так далее, и так далее. Понимаете? But it turned out that the scourge of the American cities sank due to the irresponsibility of the command. An explosion occurred in one of the long silos. One of the rockets also detonated there. The blast pierced the hull of the submarine and destroyed plutonium warheads. Their parts were thrown into the ocean. The reactor, which fed the boat, was stopped. The boat went to the bottom with a dozen nuclear warheads. Now it's buried underwater, 700 kilometers from Bermuda. Irresponsibility and indifference to its citizens moved from the USSR to Russia. No wonder the Kremlin calls itself the successor to the empire. In August 2000, the Kursk nuclear submarine sank during an exercise. It was later established that this happened due to two explosions on board. 118 crew members were killed. Immediately after the incident, the Russian authorities, in the best tradition of the Soviet leadership, remained silent about the lost submarine. Putin who had become president six months earlier because of the fight against mythical terrorists did not need publicity. And a few months after the incident with Kursk, when he was asked about the submarine, he talked about it with a smirk on his face. Tell me, what happened with the submarine? 
He doesn't care about people, he doesn't care about losses. The main thing for him is to keep the whole world in fear. He and his minions have been always trying to scare the world with their nuclear missiles. But it's not only weapons that should be feared. The so-called peaceful Aten too. After all, at any moment Russia can turn it into a hostile Aten.